Can one find a means of permitting an act which is otherwise prohibited? Can one disconnect that which is already disconnected? And what does all this have to do with Torah scrolls? One of the most exciting events for a congregation is the escorting of a new Torah scroll to the synagogue. Beyond its financial worth, Torah scrolls have great sentimental value. The Torah Ark in a synagogue often tells the congregation's story. Sometimes it's filled with old and rare Torah scrolls, some of which were acquired under life-threatening circumstances. Sitting along scrolls written in the memory of relatives or fallen soldiers, and even scrolls donated by people after experiencing personal miracles. Yet Torah arcs are often popular and easy targets for burglars. On many occasions, several Torah scrolls were stolen at once. The enormous financial damage pales in comparison with the agony of the congregation and the families who donated the scrolls. In order to make sure thieves don't use Shabbat and holidays to target unprotected arcs, Tzomet has developed an alarm system for Shabbat. But what are the issues? It is prohibited to turn electric currents on or off on Shabbat. According to the Chazon Ish, doing so violates a biblical prohibition of Boneh, building on Shabbat. According to Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Arbach and the majority of authorities, electricity use is a rabbinical prohibition, also to be taken seriously. Torah arcs protected by an alarm have a magnetic switch attached to their doors. When a door is opened, the magnetic switch is opened and the electric circuit is disconnected, thereby activating the alarm siren. If we would want to turn off the alarm, we would disconnect the electric current by turning the key of an electric lock just like an ignition switch of a car and the system shuts off. Simply put, activating a standard alarm is accomplished by closing an electric circuit, while turning off an alarm is accomplished by disconnecting the circuit. And as we've seen, both those actions are prohibited on Shabbat. In that case, what can be done? The staff of the Tzomet Institute succeeded in finding a solution developing an alarm that would be completely permitted for use on Shabbat. Our alarm operates based on the halachic principle of disconnecting a disconnected circuit. Uh? Yeah, that's right. You heard me correctly. Disconnecting a disconnected circuit. Uh. Very simple. It's all about thinking outside the box. Tzomet's alarm operates by the exact opposite principles of any other alarm. The electric circuit in Tzomet's alarm system is always disconnected. The circuit is connected to an electric lock and to a magnetic switch. The circuit will only close if a burglar opens the door. Let's compare again between a regular alarm and a Tzomet alarm. One who wants to use the arc turns the key to turn off the alarm, which is okay as it only disconnects an already disconnected circuit. Even turning the key to reactivate the alarm doesn't close any circuits as it's merely a mechanical act which operates the alarm if someone who shouldn't tries to open it. Thanks to creative thinking, the Summit Institute managed to provide a perfectly kosher solution for protecting the valuable scrolls of synagogues and congregations, which can be used by anyone who wishes to protect their property on Shabbat without desecrating the holy day in the least.